Hey guys, this is Juan Zuniga and this is Jan Sake and today I'm going to talk to you about the Wocket Wallet. There's a lot of startup companies out there that want to make your wallet thinner to be able to put all your credit cards into one credit card. There's been Coin, there's been Swipe and other companies but all have failed. The Coin never released, only a small portion released and I think right now they're out of business. Now, Wocket Wallet is different. They had a mission to do that and they were able to accomplish it. So with the Wocket Wallet, you have a card and a wallet basically. A wallet that it is a card select. With the Wocket Wallet in that card selector, you can select whatever card or loyalty card that you want and program the card that comes with the Wocket Wallet. After you select the card you wanna use and it gets programmed, that's it, you can swipe it and use it like you would any other credit card or loyalty card. So the touchscreen of the Wocket Wallet is very intuitive and very easy to use. It's one of those e-ink touch screens. And like I said, it's very easy to use and it is secured by a password. You can either use letters or numbers for your password. That way you can keep all your information secure. To be able to program the Wocket Wallet is very easy. It comes with a card reader, so you really do not need your phone or anything else. You just charge your Wocket Wallet, plug in the card reader, and you just start swiping away. You swipe and then it registers the Wocket Wallet to your name. You start swiping cards to start saving them in the Wocket Wallet. When you're ready to use it, you can search for whatever cards you want. You can either pick debit cards, credit cards, loyalty cards, membership cards and then inside that menu you pick whatever card it is you want to use. I used this Wocket card about a dozen times and I never had an issue. Now like everything else we don't live in the perfect world so they recommend to always carry around a card with you just in case the Wocket wallet fails that way you have a backup. Now the only issue that I see with the Wocket wallet right now is that it doesn't have a chip. So if your card has a chip and you go to a place where the chip is activated then you might have an issue where it won't get accepted. Now I haven't encountered that issue yet but I can see it happening real soon. However, they are coming out with one with a chip, but the release date is not available yet. So if you're looking to declutter your wallet or to go very minimalistic, I recommend the Walker Wallet. It's very good so you can achieve that. Now, the Walker Wallet costs $180. I think that's a very good price for what it is. Now, the only issues that I did encounter with the Walker Wallet was when I was going to pay. Some people looked at the card and it didn't have any signs of Visa or MasterCard or American Express. So they asked me questions of what type of card it was, so I had to explain to them what type of card it was and what I was doing. However, after they swiped it, we didn't have any issues. They got paid and the money got taken from my account. Another cool thing that I like about the Walker Wallet is that you don't need your phone. You don't need your phone for anything. Unlike the coin or other cards, you actually had to have your phone next to you or close to you. With the Walker Wallet, it's independent from your phone. It's a standalone device. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Check out the Walker Wallet. I'll have the link below. Let me know what you guys think about it. All right, guys, if you haven't done so, please turn on your notifications. That way you know every time that I post a new video. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Remember to comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.